Okay, fine. I'll, okay, well, I can't be too upset because your cyberbullying got me a new brand deal. Let me tell you exactly what happened. The team over at Bixing were huge fans of my unnecessary inventions. They offered to send me a wireless mouse so I could try out all of my CAD design on a mouse instead of a trackpad. And I pitched them the idea of sending a mechanical keyboard so I could make a brand new standing mechanical keyboard. While I'm gonna give this mouse a test run while we create our unnecessary invention today, the real star of the show is going to be this gorgeous mechanical keyboard that Vixing also sent me. Let me get this thing plugged in. Whoa, I actually hadn't turned this thing on yet. It looks pretty sweet. So this model is Vixing's mechanical gaming keyboard, and it has this rainbow LED pattern across the entire keyboard. They also gave me a discount code for 20% off this keyboard, so I'm gonna throw a link down in the description with the coupon code. So if you wanna get yourself this keyboard, I would get it. All right, but my game plan for this project is to redesign each one of these individual keys in Fusion 360, and then be sitting up on an elevated platform so you can stand up and still use the keyboard like somewhere up here. So let's get our mouse, and get to work. Okay, well actually a couple hours later and now I'm ready to design this. Okay, the first thing I'm gonna do is start redesigning all of the keys to the exact dimensions of the ones that fit onto the keyboard. Let's see if I can get used to this mouse. Okay, wait, let me test this out. All right, I can move it around here. Yeah, I can zoom in and out. Okay, now what's... What is... Rotate around. All right, I'm rotating, but back to work. All right, now we just gotta finish off all the little dimensions on top of the keys to make it look really nice. And there we go, that thing is looking really nice. All right, now we just gotta add in all of the lettering that goes on top of the keys so that you can see it. We'll match the angles here of the key underneath. I'm gonna quickly design the standing rods and I'll show them to you now. Okay, so here's what I came up with for that design. Basically, it's gonna sit eight inches above the keyboard and each of the keys are gonna snap into the bottom here. And I added in this super subtle, but I think it's gonna be really cool hex pattern that goes all along the shaft of this. And then on the bottom here, on the, can I figure out how to, on the bottom here, we have a little design that is gonna snap into the keyboard and that is what the original keys look like. But the only thing I wanna do, so one thing that I wanna do a little bit differently on this project, instead of just using stock resin that I have, let's see, yep. I wanna try and take this basic white resin and add some different colored dyes to it. So that way we can create a nice cool pattern and design. So maybe make one whole section one color, make a few accent colors around the outside. So let's go ahead and dye this thing up. Hopefully this should be pretty simple. Basically I'm just gonna take our water washable polymer resin, pour it into our cup. Then I'm gonna grab a color from this resin epoxy pigment. Eeny, meeny, miny, mo. what should I do? And I'm gonna put a few drops of this sapphire blue pigment into the resin. I don't entirely know how many drops to do, but we can always add in more later. Now we'll just mix this all up until it is a nice, consistent blue color. With it all mixed up, I think it's ready for the prime time to hit the 3D printers. All right, let's go ahead and get our custom blue resin into the Elegoo 2 Mars Pro. I love how this color is looking so far. Hopefully all of our resin times work out well. Well, that was certainly fast, wasn't it? Let's get this off of here. Drain out any extra resin. And this might become my new obsession. Look how amazing all of that blue resin came out. And the Mars 2 Pro did a great job with all of the details. And here's a look at the backside of where it'll go into all of those rods. Let me go ahead and get all of these off of the build plate and then start working on all of the rest of the keys themselves. The three different colors I'm gonna go with is obviously the blue that we already did. I'm gonna do a nice sunshine yellow for some of the accent colors. Then the third color is gonna be a nice bright red 
that's going to be just a few of the select keys around the keyboard. So let's get printing all of the keys that we need for the entire keyboard. And it looks like the next batch of prints is finished off of the 3D printer. So let's see how this design came out. Let's go ahead and take this off. Oh, they are looking good. That hex pattern that we put into the design came out perfect. Let's get this build plate off. Just unscrew it here. Oh wait, we gotta move this. Because they are so tall, I'm gonna have to move the vat and the build plate out together so I can get this out of here. Slow and steady, but we are out of here and all of them look like they were a success. The first batch of the riser rods are looking pretty good. Let's see if we can get a little shot of the details in there. Actually, let's get a better look at the details of all of the different colors. I love how that hexagon pattern is just barely there, but gives it just enough texture to make it look interesting. Here is a look at the blue color again. Here we have that awesome red. And lastly, that sunshine yellow. The only thing left to do is get each of these keys onto the riser rods and then take all of the keys off the original keyboard and attach this. There's the section that's gonna attach into the keyboard. So let me get Expecto Patronum onto finishing this whole thing up. took much longer than I anticipated, but the keyboard is complete. Let's get a closer look. Okay, so they need a little bit of organizing and straightening out, but all of the colors, I think, look awesome together. Yeah, this one's not, this one's not having it. Stay there. All of the details of the letters are still there, which look really awesome. And like I showed you before, all of the detail in the standing rods with that hex pattern. Okay, so we know the keyboard looks good, but does it function? They still function in travel and make the mechanical keyboard sound. <laughs> and you know, it is actually kind of like the perfect height for a standing keyboard, even though standing keyboards do not exist. One thing I did forget about is let's plug this thing in and see how all of the LEDs look inside of that white resin. Okay, I've got my keyboard. Where is the cable? Let us just Plug this in. Oh, look at those colors through the resin. It does make a pretty awesome effect having it diffused through that white resin there. Honestly, this thing is pretty ergonomic for standing. I bet my productivity is going to go through the roof. I am a productivity workhorse, and you can never tell me anything unnecessarily different. Send. Let us get one more additional look at all of those different keys on the standing keyboard. And those LED lights, why not? Oh, they look beautiful. Well, I think this project is a unnecessary success. I also just posted the official product photos for the standing keyboard over on Instagram, so be sure to go check those out. And also, now that I use a mouse, you guys can stop making fun of me. Except maybe you should make fun of my Subaru and say I should get a Tesla so that maybe Tesla sends me a free Tesla. Let's do that. Do not forget to hit the subscribe button, smash the like, and with that, I'm gonna hit the escape key and see you at the next unnecessary invention. See ya.